Hello everybody, Captain Marty here. It's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. And boy, did a lot of stuff change from our previous fishing report because we had some red hot marlin fishing over the weekend and some really encouraging catches of white marlin, sailfish, and blue marlin. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but uh, it blew yesterday and a lot of stuff ground to a halt. But I'll tell you what did happen. I'll be back to do that in just a moment. The desire for being on the water is what draws people to the Outer Banks. OBX Boat Company in Kill Devil Hills shares that desire with you. The only full-service, Yamaha-authorized dealer on the beach, OBX Boat Company is committed to providing you the best possible boat ownership experience. Their carefully selected brands of center consoles and family-friendly pontoon boats are all powered by ultra-reliable Yamaha motors. They offer excellent financing options as well. To learn more and see their inventory, visit obxboatco.com are you ready for a fishing thrill like no other oh there he is there he is oh got him up as seen on wiki tune outer banks the carolina girl captained by majestic jesse anderson is a custom luxurious 53 foot Jarrett bay built boat running out of hatteras harbor marina let jesse and her crew give you a fishing experience of a lifetime to book a trip, go online to carolinagirlsportfishing.com. Carolina Girl Sport Fishing, your offshore adventure awaits. <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is mostly what happened over the weekend, really, because uh, that wind breezed up. Now, what we're hoping for the offshore guys is that this will push these white marlin that they've been way, way laying up in Ocean City and above, push them down our way. That would be great because they have had some exceptional fishing. We had uh, a lot of boats in the 20-plus white marlin in a day. All those fish were caught and released, so that's a good thing. But, man, oh, man, good fishing. And then keep in mind that down below us, we had a really, really good bite on sailfish and blue marlin. And um, in, in the middle, the Hatteras and Oregon Inlet fleets um, had some combined fishing. Uh, I saw Tom Krause had... Four blue marlin day before yesterday and three the day before that, along with a couple of sails. So anytime you catch one blue marlin, that's a heck of a day. When you catch three or four blue marlin, that's really a heck of a day. So the bill fishing is good, and this northeast wind is going to do nothing but improve it. I think we're going to see more white marlin for our old traditional September bite is what I'm hoping anyway. Other stuff going on, we did have some boats and hatters fished inshore, and they did real good on big bluefish. Saw some nice catches of those down there, some Spanish mackerel also. And the Oregon Inlet Fleet still catching ribbon fish and stuff like that, but even I, did, I couldn't really find a report for Oregon Inlet at all. Now, that's because hatters, you probably could have snuck out on the wind we had yesterday and stayed close to the beach. Wasn't going to work at Oregon Inlet because that northeast wind is not a, a good wind for the way the beach runs there surf and pier fishing pretty much quiet um they've been doing pretty good on a little bit of everything the sea ball bite has been good in a lot of areas including on our piers and in the surf the pompano have been making the news a lot that would be traditional pompano and there have been a few african pompano which are much bigger uh caught as well in addition to that there's a there was a kobe or two caught all through the week last week there's been some big kings on the end of the piers just a lot a lot of stuff, a lot of potential this time of year for big trophy type fish. So that's what's happening. The surf fishing is pretty much the same thing. They got pretty rough if you were north of Cape Point, and you might have snuck in a little fishing early in the day on the southern beaches. So we'll take a little break right here, and um, don't have a whole lot to share with you about what's going on in the backcountry, but I'll tell you what I know, and I'll be back and do that in just a moment. From the moment you leave the dock, the Crystal Dawn out of Pirate's Cove Marina in Manio will take you on a seafaring excursion you'll never forget. Whether it be a sunset cruise, birthday party, wedding, or a celebration of any kind, the 65-foot spacious Crystal Dawn would love to be the vessel that helps create a lifetime of memories. They are Coast Guard certified to carry up to 97 passengers. To book your private trip in paradise, go online to crystaldawnheadboat.com. Your view of heaven can be found on the deck of the crystal dawn so backcountry fishing i couldn't find many people out doing that yesterday either but uh it's same old same old and that's a good thing 
There's been drum in all the size classes. There's been speckled trout, mostly smaller than they were in the spring. When this weather cools down, we'll see some of the bigger ones returning, I think. And the sheephead fishing has been really, really good for a lot of folks in a lot of areas. Bonner Bridge Pier is a, a favorite spot, but you got to know the tide and the wind situation. Best way to do that is to go put in your time and talk to the people that are already there fishing. Sea mullet bite has been really good in the sound. I, know I got some friends that are doing that recreationally, and they're all professional fishermen. So what does a professional fisherman do on his day off? He gets in his little boat and goes sea mullet fishing in the sound. And that has been very good. So that's about all there is. Um, the dove hunts, depending on where you went, there were some good ones. And there were some some that the folks didn't even fire a gun. Yesterday, while I was working on my chicken coop, I did hear a little bit of shooting going on. So maybe with the shift of wind, that will improve a little bit. That old southern tradition, great, great eating on the grill. And uh, I'll keep you posted as uh, anything on the hunting front changes or gets better so that is all we have for you today on the fishing report i do appreciate you taking the time to find us and join in i hope you have a blessed day